What's up guys? Here we have the video review for Fall of Cybertron Generations Jazz. Um, now like I said on my review of Optimus Prime, I got this guy for free from TF Source. Uh, I didn't talk about a couple things on Optimus. Uh, not that it matters too much, but I mean it does roll just fine. Um, although two of the wheels kind of don't really touch that well. And also I didn't talk about his articulation. So should I do it now? Yeah, screw it. He's got all the normal articulation. Arms, head, uh, elbows, wrist, rotate, knees, bend, hip, pole joint, hips. The end. Okay. Jazz. So he is a Cybertronian sports car, I guess. Rolls pretty well. His weapon goes in the front there on the hood. Uh it's just a, just like a regular blaster, nothing special. Get that off the other side. Um, the car is very Tron-y. It's got like the lines on the wheels. Um, you know, it's very, one, you know, two colors, three colors, very futuristic-y, Tron-like, um, with the straight lines. There is some kibble on the bottom, you can see his fists. And these are his legs. But I mean, overall, it's in robot mode, in vehicle mode, this guy actually kind of shines. I really, really dig his vehicle mode. His robot mode is yeah, but we'll, yeah. But his vehicle mode is actually very cool. It's a little hollowy, but I mean, overall, it's very, it's a very cool-looking, sporty, futuristic car. So. Let's transform this guy. What you want to do first, the instructions in this, first of all, on this guy are terrible. Absolutely terrible. They don't tell you how things lock, nothing. So what you want to do is you want to pull these, the arms out first. And when you transform him, first of all, he's very loose when you transform him into vehicle mode. And once you snap the arms in, everything just kind of pushes together and it's absolutely fine. It's just a little weird getting it together. But they don't tell you um, is any of these tabs and how they lock together. So what you want to do is this tab, this uh, peg goes into this tab when you put it in vehicle mode and that keeps everything secure. So you want to do is pull that out on both sides and then you'll see what I see. It's already starting to flop all over the place. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, see? It's hard to even do the review like this. What you want to do next is pull the legs down and he has an extra set of wheels right here. These are just molded in, they're not real wheels. But you pull down the legs, the feet, and you kind of spread the legs. These tap together for transformation but they're on like a slot. It's slotted, it's not like solid. So they just kind of like kind of stay together. It's not that great. But what you want to do, what I do next is come in the back here and split this and then there's a tab here. There's a tab here and you want to peg it into, see this, this is his butt. And there's like a slot and then a, a hole up there and you want to tab it into the hole and just push it in. It also kind of reveals his head. That stabilizes the whole back. The front doesn't stabilize very well. I'm telling you that right off the bat. What you want to do for the front is there's these two slots. Here, here and here. And then there's this blue plastic here. And that's gonna slot into there like that, see? And actually, it wouldn't go on both sides, so that's cool. And it doesn't click in, it doesn't do anything, it just kind of sits there. Which I am not crazy about, but... What you want to do over here is, there's a tab right in there, and you want to pull that away. And there's another tab up here. Again, the instructions don't tell you this. Any of this. But you want to separate. It's kind of hard. You want to like separate it and wiggle it until it's free. So what you want to do is, let me show you so you can, if I'm actually doing this. 
um, there's a, this whole slot right there and there's a tab on the inside of this panel and you want to tab that into there and when you do it you want to straighten that out so that's at a right angle and then you just kind of have to wiggle it in there you want to you know, obviously pull it away like this and let me do it for you real quick you want to keep that straight and you just kind of want to fold this down but it's not on the same level so you just kind of there just kind of wiggle it yeah, until it locks in it's the only way I can describe it it's just wiggling it and waiting for it to click in but then you want to come around here and you want to rotate it at the bicep so that the wheel is facing up you flip out the hand and you can bend it at the elbow do the same thing over here I'll show you again disconnect that little tab pull this and then there goes a uh, popped it off the ball joint and then uh, see it's very fiddly fold that in it doesn't click in it just kind of frictions in again at the upper bicep you want to rotate that fold out the hands and there we have Fall of Cybertron Generations Jazz so complaints number one chicken legs big full cool looking upper body put his gun in his hand big cool looking upper body Itty bitty, little, itty bitty little spindly legs. Don't get it. Don't get it at all. Could have made these, beat these up a little bit somehow. I don't know really how, but they could have done something. Really disappointed with the legs. Upper body. The chest and everything looks cool when you look at it this way. If I look at it head on, looks fine. Once you do this, you can stick your whole finger in there. It's completely hollow. The head does not connect to the chest. It's just kind of there. Um, if you display this guy, display him head on and nobody will be the wiser. Try to put him up high too on a higher shelf. That way you can't look down on him. Because once you look down on him, he looks like poop. But I mean, looking head on, he does look cool except for these stupid chicken legs. Take a look at his face. His face is cool though. Very G1 jazz ish. Does look like how it looks in the game. It's got his visor. He's kind of yeah, hunched over. Okay. So yeah, see, he's supposed to kind of like go like that, and, but yeah, his head looks terrible like that. His open chest. As far as articulation, arms go 360 degrees, elbows are actually on this kind of ratchet joint. Um, it's held on like a U joint by friction. The blue part's like shaped like a U, because as soon as I opened mine, this popped off. But I mean, it's just, it's got teeth on the elbow itself, so it's kind of ratchety. So that's how it, that's how it actually bends. Um, wrists just go in and out for transformation, so that's not really... That's cheating. Head is on a ball joint, so you got full motion there. Just don't look at his chin part. Um, waist, nothing, ball jointed hips, but there's this piece of plastic here, so it only goes about that far. I mean, everything else, and because of this plastic, it only goes about that far. Knees, bends at the knee, that far. A little past 90 degrees. Forward, he's got a kneecap, so nothing. Feet, because of the transformation, can fold backwards, but can't really fold forwards. Ugh, stand up straight, cool. And that's gonna, that's about it for trend for uh, articulation. So my thoughts on this guy. He's cool. Um, I think I'll display him in vehicle mode because I think that's where he shines. I'm not crazy about robot mode. Uh, he does look cool. I do like his head, and I do like his I do like his design, his overall look. 
I think it was just executed a little poorly. You know, with the hollowness of the top and the chicken legs. But, I mean, he's not terrible. Um, I would just try to display him in vehicle mode if you can. So there we have Fall of Cybertron Generations Jazz.